but um he uh he's missing like he has, I don't know if he's missing any teeth, <laughs> but he has a- Do you know I was uh, telling you about that Terrence Winter Sopranos uh, episode, and I was telling you how he wrote that he wrote Fifty Cent's "Get Rich or Die Trying." Yeah, or die, yeah. I'm sorry, Fifty Cent "Get Rich or Die Trying," because <laughs> um, there is a, probably another movie. Um, and uh, I did not know when I was a kid, my sister liked Fifty Cent, so you know, Hell yeah. we all watched it. And uh, I thought and still thought that that was just, I thought 50 Cent made that movie because it's about his life. Yeah, yeah. Someone like wrote it. Yeah. Like, so is that all bullshit? Most of it is bullshit is my understanding. Like it's a very fictionalized version of what happened and all everything has been replaced. Fucking, uh, yeah, I mean, I know he got shot. That's true. Shot nine times. I remember that was pretty, that was pretty impressive. <laughs> to survive that many? Yeah, it's like a badge of honor. Like the mo- like now it's not even good enough. Like, bro, he got shot and lived. It's like, yeah, how many times? Like, it, you don't even get credit. Like, oh, he only got shot two times. Yeah, and that's nuts to think. Like, he was kind of like an up and coming rapper at the time, and he was. I don't know how big he was, but he was decently. He was as big as he's been at that point, and then he gets shot in the jaw. Yeah, yeah. So you can't even, like, he thought he couldn't even rap anymore. Is this in the movie? Is this, like... Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do remember that. And he starts, like, taking painkillers, and then one day he's like, I'm not going to do this anymore. He, like, throws him out. <laughs> oh, him. yeah. Yeah. And then Kanye had the same thing. He had a jaw. Yeah, so any uh, aspiring rappers out there, you know what to do. <laughs> Crack that <laughs> mandible wide open. <laughs> make a yeah, make a hit <laughs> with your jaw wired. Spread that fucking mandible if you want to get big in the rap game. God, that would hurt so bad. Yeah. I can never imagine like I've had a fucking a tooth hurt. Like that's got to be a That sim- might be worse. I heard the tooth is like the worst. Yeah. Worse than any pain, worse than losing a family member. You're giving ki- birth kidney stones birth and then the broken femur those are the big ones i heard yeah which is so funny because i i knew a kid who broke his femur you know him too and i feel so bad about this but I for- he I- broke his femur we were playing rec rec league soccer and this kid was not uh. into it he was just doing it as like his mom wanted him to go get exercise type thing so was he skinny yeah he was pretty skinny okay. but not like ridiculously nerd kid like he liked you know he liked world of warcraft and stuff and we're in maybe like i don't know sixth grade yeah sixth grade and then he collides with some other kid and he like you know uh if you played sports as a kid there's a very big divide between the people who really want to play sports and the people who are just like well i don't want to go over there so i'm gonna go play on this field instead yeah and he was definitely not that into it and a kid who was into it was going for the ball at the same time as him and they just like ran into each other and their legs collided and then he was on the ground like Ow! Oh, <laughs> and i thought it was literally the funniest thing i was crying laughing <laughs> oh shit that yeah. was him he broke his femur now i know who it was but i made it up for him because he got a wheelchair which i relentlessly harassed him for getting a wheelchair for breaking his leg and I would push him around in the wheelchair. Yeah, and then I remember going to lunch and we wheeled him around. See, I didn't go to rec. You know what's funny is like... Rec center Not all to day. get uh, into a debate, but like... I always felt like rec was um, like for... when Like your parents sent you there. I, when I was a kid, I thought that if you went to rec, you had bad parents. And it's then, not totally unreasonable, but it's more like, do your parents work until six? Yeah, or whatever, like, yeah, yeah. But but now I'm realizing like that, like your parents were gr- had to have taken you that take you there. Yeah. And well, no, the bus up. the bus brings you from school. Oh, really? And oh. then they come and get you. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So yeah. I probably would have rather went home. Honestly, it was fun as shit. We played all dodgeball, tennis, baseball, basketball. Kids brought skateboards. There was like a gym set. I would have been the other. I would have. It would have been my femur if I would have went there. If it wasn't his. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be built. You can't be out there in the rec league soccer game if you're not prepared to die. In the wheelchair, fucking god, the bed sores. <laughs> I feel sorry for him. 
Yeah, so I've always been a relentless asshole with the the humor. It's never been a badge of honor. You always go too far. And then you, I've learned where the line is and to only cross it occasionally and not do that every day. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, ki- like the thing kids say the darndest things and shit is so true. Yeah. Like kids uh, have no, you know, understanding of how you could hurt someone's feelings. Like, yeah. Remember our friend that was racist to the Mexican lunch lady and we were yes. both like, dude, what the fuck? Yes. It, even in like you before, like when it would have been kind of okay to do what he did, like before any of this shit, we were like appalled by it. You know what I mean? Like you could say all the fun ones, you know, the bean the WB, you could drop all that shit in public and it was not like super chill, but like nobody cared that much. But we were like fucking blown away by the racism even back then in like 2007. Did he drop a word? Because <laughs> here's what I remember the lunch lady heard. He was like saying, he was he he was saying that women who are Mexican, he goes, Mexican women are so loud and he, he might have used the word annoying and then the uh l- and I know for a fact at least that was said and the lunch lady looked at him and we laughed <laughs> and uh like he said cuz we were a little uncomfortable and uh then he looks at her and goes what my mom works with them <laughs> i know <laughs> <laughs> and for a fact like your mom's racist like lunchroom complaints to you yeah yeah fucking yeah. how and it's like what industry are you in? It wasn't, it, you know, a typical... It was Wachovia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, we could say because it's out of business, yeah. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, she were, there was a fucking... Wachovia hated Mexicans. That's why they went out of business, by the way. Yeah, there was a fucking a half Mexican lady she didn't like there <laughs> <laughs> who was good at her... This t- kid is half Mexican, for the record. Oh, like, yeah. 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 And a racist joke is what ended the friendship. The One of my favorite... Also, another instance of trying to be a funny man and it doesn't go right. Uh, we, we were going into the next school year of middle school and it was like, you got to pick your elective classes. And this kid was like, I'm signing up for French. And I was like, why don't you do Spanish so that you can learn how to speak to your people? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I said that and this is my friend that I've known for probably five years or so. He just leaves the Xbox party I'm sitting on the third story on Crash in Call of Duty 4 and I see that he has left the party. And then uh, I finish the game. I check my friends list. He's not there. He's gone. Yeah. <laughs> he completely deleted me. He, he power got- cycled to the yeah. fucking Xbox. He turned it. He held the power button down. Yeah. <laughs> and muted his mic fucking. But why learn French? He really wanted to learn. Fu- yeah, that shit sucks. Yeah. What good l- luck like having any go <laughs> what was that the black french guy that does the song on the color oh. show <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. i fucking i added that to my spotify on un- unironically listen to that in the car <laughs> yeah 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 me too it's like fucking <laughs> yeah, <he's> <laughs> 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 yeah yeah and that is what it is I, I forget what it is but it's fucking he's singing his ass off and yeah. it's like what are the lyrics and the lyrics are like literally i smoke a joint <laughs> i smoke weed and it's dangerous <laughs> <laughs> like literally that was the lyrics it like doesn't rhyme because it's in french too. it's like you yeah. just can't understand it without speaking french it's yeah. like the quran you have to <laughs> learn it's like one language and only sounds good yeah yeah that shit is so funny that it is, I smoke weed and it's dangerous. That was the real. <laughs> unless we yes. got a faulty translation, that was what actually what it said. I wish I could remember the guy's name so we could give him a shout out. If you type in French guy singing, French black guy singing colors, it'll come up. Yeah. I don't know uh, anything. It wasn't a memorable name, but um, he uh, he's missing like, he has, I don't know if he's missing any teeth, <laughs> but he has a huge <laughs> gap in his front. Teeth. Like that, That's huge star quality um sometimes if you could pull it off yeah it, you can make like a cool logo of your like smile yeah so yeah some iconic teeth yeah go pretty far you gotta have unique like you can't just have shitty teeth they have to be uniquely weird and like it, they can be shitty in terms of placement and space and stuff but if they're just like rotting out of your head that's not the kind of unique teeth that they're looking for yeah like, yeah. yeah they gotta be not actively decaying too hard fucking uh spongebob's teeth 
Those are pretty iconic. Yeah, two big ones in two, the front, and that's it. Two giant front teeth. Yeah. That's a fucking, that's got to be like, you know, imagine uh, getting bit by that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we changed the name of the show, because that's some <laughs> shit that fucking fits for that. Um, yeah, yeah. Imagine getting bit by SpongeBob. Uh, fuck, there's something about chewing or biting. Uh, I don't know, but um, I you know we did you did send me that uh that ad. Oh like, shit! Can we play that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I was saving it. I have, uh, so I don't know if you want to. So this is a celebrity up. that I didn't know about, like a e celeb, and her name is what? Her name is uh Madison Tevlin, and she's a Down syndrome content creator. Who, you know, you sent me this, I didn't know who she was, and then it's like, her first... Her Can you throw s- me those tissues? Yeah. her. I look at her channel, she's got like 12 videos. Her second Thank video, and this is a lot of um, you, like children YouTube channels that get big. Their second video is them on the local news with the video with their first video and them <laughs> talking about w- that they're famous now and it's yeah. crazy and now you have two videos like <laughs> you doing something and then you talking about how you did something yeah and that's all they've done and she has down syndrome and then she's young also um wait a minute okay no never mind she's I was 12 say, she's 12 in this video this oh, is okay. the cover that made nine years ago i was like I was holy like, fuck dude this one we're about to play is yeah. might be a little so this is we're getting the full context this is how she got big okay so we could just play a little bit we're not going to get copyright it's claim. a cover okay she can't very few people with down syndrome will ever be able to sing by free use i call this one free use so okay, this is already fucked up. We can't do this. So we can't do this, but <laughs> we could just we could get how her talent is singing. Might not have video on this. They hired a piano player. Not that good. Yeah, so the point here is that um She's really even. Four, maybe four out of ten. I'm gonna try be, again next time, Madison. I'm I'm trying. I'm being honest. Not even trying to be like edgy. F- even for a Down syndrome person, that's unexceptional. Yeah, like, that is yeah. not anything special. So this is her newest work. There's a Down syndrome guy that sounds just like The Weekend. Oh, no. <laughs> is that true? Okay. We- <laughs> So this is her new uh, video. So give a Down syndrome person alcohol. Remember that. Yeah, we assume you can't have margarita. That's true. So you don't encourage me to live on my own. So I don't live on my own. Coach. So it's like motivational. Yeah. This is not true. We all know that they can hit very hard. It's a fucking stereotype. So you don't teach me Shakespeare. Every acting class should have a Down syndrome person in it. You. I bet she was homeschooled. She doesn't know what a fucking. No teachers ever said that to her. A drunk Down syndrome person is crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna serve you margarita so Visa can call me and be like, "You serve this fucking. It's not her car. This woman. Yeah. This bright young woman." Oh, profanity. I don't like that. <laughs> no! No! Who's the piece of shit? Bro, I thought she was Mongolian. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, core down. What is that? Is that the jacket she was wearing? No, they had them do the artwork. It's down core. Oh. <laughs> down core. Uh wow, well that is Yeah, what is the product dude, that is even being adv- <laughs> Is she trying to be like uh, Fuck special needs people. Literally. <laughs> Cores down. <laughs> yeah. Can they is that true that they can't have a drink like also um like I don't know, like you, they can have alcohol, right? Yeah, yeah. I've seen them have it. Are they allergic to chocolate or is that dogs? <laughs> They can't have fucking 
Uh, they can have sex if they're over 18, I'm sure. That's crazy. So what's, uh, I don't know who wasted their money on this. Do you think you could go on an adult website and type in, let's not do it, but not doing Down that. Syndrome? <laughs> Is that a genre that exists? That's, that can't be allowed. That can't be allowed. No, yeah, that shouldn't be allowed. I don't care if they're 45 years old and they have Down Syndrome wisdom. You can't let them do that. Yeah. It is even crazy. Honestly, sometimes it's like, as I get older, I think like even 18 is crazy. Like, because <laughs> there could be some fucking very naive 18 uh, year olds. Yeah, sure. that's what I was thinking about with uh, like having our parents be older. I was just thinking about people that like, I meet people all the time and they're like 10 years older than me, but their parents are younger than mine. Yeah. And, uh,. And then that gets me to think, like, dude, if your parents are 18 years old, like, it's a privilege to have older parents because 18-year-old parents or anywhere near that, like, three years in any direction, hopefully not younger than that, but you're getting raised by a retard. Like, there's no, like, you can't, until they get to be, like, 30 or something, you're not even, like, a full, you don't have enough life experience to pass it off onto a young, a youngster and, you know, know the ways. That's a good point, but... They're I think really winging it. Some people do have kids a little too old. For sure. They, I think the best is like 31 or 2. That's like prime. Yeah, if you could time it right. Or those people who like, you like... Because I'm always like thinking like I don't want to have a kid. I'm not always thinking that, but like that's... I'm not... That is my current situation. There are people who want to have a kid and then they like try and then they can't for like years. Like Yeah. That's, uh, but do you think about having a young mom like that? Like your mom goes to an EDM festival and gets fucked. Like <laughs> that shit's so weird. Like yeah, it's definitely a blessing to have an old ass mom. It is. That is. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, old parents. I mean, yeah, they can't really do much physically, you know, with you. But the, yeah, you do get a certain sense of wisdom. And I bet one hundred percent of murderers' moms got fucked. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like an earshot of them, like that builds a rage inside you that you'll never fucking be able to comprehend. Yeah. Go dissect a frog. My I'm mom gets fucked. <laughs> my mom gets no dick <laughs> and it's awesome. <laughs> That's always where they go. Like, not that I've been to therapy, but like in the movies and shit, like it's always uh, your mommy, your mom and sexuality are like yeah. the bread and butter. Yeah. Yeah. You get a degree just to be like, so you want to fuck your mom? Like that's not. I was talking about my fucking Roger at my work. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> How would a fucking and then what and then what? What do you owe them after if they figure that out? Is like therapy over? Yeah. It's like what is the? Uh, All right, now go fuck your mom. That's <laughs> that's how you end therapy. <laughs> that's like when you're ready to stop going is when you finally fuck your mom. <laughs> that's the yeah. That's the uh, the twelve steps. <laughs> that's the twelfth step is to fuck your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. So I heard, I, I heard two things. I heard fucking that they don't, uh, you know that when you go into AA or whatever, that they really bring in a lot of Christianity and like the guy who made it. Yeah, it's a Christian program. Yeah, the, <coughs> the twelve steps guy is like a devout Christian man. So yeah, it's like it, it's integrated fully. Dude, alcohol, like, I get it. I think a lot of people get addicted to that whole sobriety community and shit. And it's not even necessary for them to stay sober because, like, I never really struggled with alcohol like that. But it's, like, at a certain point, it's, like, you know, the ones that have, like, I've been sober for four years. And it's, like, why are you still even talking about it? Like The craziest is Bobby Kelly, the comedian. Yeah. yeah I hear him, like, he all he talks about is how he's been sober. And then you hear the story of, like, he's like, I've been sober 48 years. And he's, like, 52 years old. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) so since 13 (laughs) years old. And he's got a real fucked up story. I guess he was, like, in and out of orphanages and uh, shit. He literally stole the plot of the Three Stooges movie and said that it was his life. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I don't know if it's been verified. Yeah. Uh, And then Jim Norton was the same, too. It's like, yeah, when I was, I'm a dry drunk. (laughs) And then uh, with again when he was drinking, 
fucking like how much were you drinking like you literally you were if you're 13 like you weren't a drug addict of any sort shut up yeah like also think about how long like you know how time goes by so fast as we get older like when you were 13 you could have done drugs for a week and it would have felt like you were a drug addict for 10 years yeah like it probably was not that big of a deal and wasn't that crazy. It's like they use it to relate. Like, I used to see on Opie and Anthony, Jim would use that. If anybody was, like, a past drug addict for real, he'd be like, I'm a, I'm a, so, I'm a former addict or whatever. When did he stop drinking? Like, 16 or something? Yeah, like, 13. <laughs> Again, same shit. And yeah. it was like his sexual deviancy was his main addiction, really. Man like, butt? Or, yeah, shit like that. I don't know, really. Like, Jim Norton gets a little uncomfortable like even on like i was listening to fucking i was gonna play it off the podcast um but like i was listening to an old opie and anthony uh, episode of the mel gibson tapes where he's screaming at his wife and shit awesome and this and as great as opie and anthony is they could be very lazy like this isn't this is an opie and anthony bit is the mel gibson tapes that they listened to all day for four hours they played and then it's like guys we got d-boy just cooked us up something new and then it's like a fucking generic, like European trap beat, like, and then it's like, and then Mel Gibson chops, you fucking whore, <laughs> fuck you, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, you cunt, <laughs> fuck you, and then after, it's like literally Jim Norton on ironically goes, man, is anyone else making shit this good on the radio i right now? hate the old people when you're like well, now watch me use this tech yeah you like pull up a fucking powerpoint and like he's the greatest computer man of all time yeah so that shit aged terribly the fucking like getting your dj guy to make a little song remix yeah sounded like dog shit yeah and it's always some like old white guy who's like yeah music is my life and he's never done one thing that anyone knows about or would give a like if he played you his best shit you'd be like okay yeah and and also you notice how when i did that reenactment it wasn't funny it's because like <laughs> it's not it's not just because i'm not it's because yeah it's out of context it's not the mel gibson tapes are hilarious but like when you listen to it that's oh. like YouTube poop 2006 remix. Remember every time there was a viral video, it'd be like the viral video remix. David after dentist remix. Yeah, dude, that would be he like it would be um the they're climbing in your houses and shit, snatching your uh, husbands up or whatever. The guy. Oh, yeah. And they're climbing in the windows. They're going to fuck your ass, man. Yeah, that was viral. Him doing that. And then someone makes a music video like auto-tuned version of it and that <laughs> yeah, yeah. is again it's and i'll be honest i don't want to go back on my good point but like that was probably took a lot of work for sure that fucking that one is more intense <laughs> than just like you take a bullshit 1999 techno the genre techno which isn't even does that exist what is that <laughs> um it, but yeah the actual techno music and just add in a couple samples of vocals and be like dude i just made a song check this out but we say all that, and then we've unironically listened to Wings of Redemption, <laughs> like, riding oh, in my yeah. Mustang. Dude, some of these guys with the production are so nuts. They could turn anything into a great song. It's true. Or a great rap song, at least. Yeah. Like, literally, a, a, a fucking thir a Twitch... What is that song called, and who's it by? It's um, Liquid, Richard. Liquid Richard mustang <laughs> that shit goes so hard yeah <laughs> that out. and it's like a fucking youtube ripped blue yeti microphone of him playing and just every now and then saying something for the music for the that he chops together and it literally sounds better than people who have been making music for years <laughs> like uh, for sure yeah and it also sounds put together better. Like, it sounds like he was in <laughs> yeah. the studio. What if it's fake and he actually got wings to go to the studio? I know it's not, but that'd be fucking the greatest, like, turn of events in history. Turns out wings was actually doing vocals and all this. Yeah, that would be insanely impressive. But yeah, yeah, that is that is one of the biggest examples of, like, that guy had to have been, like, actually in the music. That guy industry. is Rick Rubin. Yeah. <laughs> that guy, like, actually, like... He wrote, I found out, like, T-Pain, like, 
he wrote the Arby's theme. Like you ever hear the Arby's theme? Actually, if you have it on subwoofers, it's like <laughs> it's like bum bum boom. <laughs> oh, we yeah. have the. <laughs> it's like T Pain apparently wrote that, and he did. Even though I heard fucking like it's probably both true bullshit just to get me to eat more McDonald's. Like, but McDonald's like the Justin Timberlake song, which is like Justin Timberlake made a song that there's a bridge in it that's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> no, I'm loving it. <laughs> like you know that, right? No, that's I didn't know literally that. in an unironic before McDonald's had it. Justin Timberlake has a song. I thought they said Pusha T made that. Was that a different one? No, I'm gonna say like T Pain apparently wrote the like he literally <laughs> like put the MIDI. I don't know why they needed T Pain to fucking do it. But like he like the ba -da -ba -ba -ba. maybe they wanted like a ja a more jazzy you know urban style of it but yeah the justin timberlake is a real song it's like ba -da -ba -ba -ba, i'm loving it and he's talking about i'm loving your pussy her virgin pussy <laughs> or whatever um i also have yeah, the uh the madison girl on the news okay yeah Let's, let's follow up with Madison. And we're not making fun of her, but um, maybe these news anchors, you know how. Worked for Justin Bieber, and now a YouTube star is becoming one because uh, this Toronto singer has uh, blown up. Is this Toronto? Okay. Devlin on Monday, if you remember. Seems like a nice place, huh? Talk of the town, and now I don't know about that. From <laughs> one of her idols. Here's Cindy Palm with a global news update. Cindy they Palm. just name drop Justin Bieber, though? Like, she has nothing to do with him? The tongue action is John insane. All of me. She didn't think it would get so much I feel like they're making her do this. Surprised about the millions of views on Do it better. It's not even a lot of views nowadays. Good, really good. Really. Even better, John Legend. Bad there. Like what? Who is This is what I was saying. John Legend is kind of gay for doing this, for retweeting this and being <laughs> it's like It's his song. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> I guess yeah, it did make her happy. Yeah. Clearly got a rich family. I think like now having a rich, or sorry, now having a Down syndrome like daughter or son or whatever is like a rich person thing. Like you want, like, do you have one? You got to get one because it takes a lot of resources to have one. Yeah. It's like the people that get the pets that are really hard to take care of. Like you need to be able to have a guy on staff. You probably have a lot of power over them if you're one of those, you know, parents who, you know, don't want to watch your kid grow up. Well, it's crazy if one mutation didn't happen, she would look like that. And yeah. then it, instead she has Down syndrome. Like, it's, they're the same genetics. She really can't sing, man. <laughs> she must sound like <laughs> shit. <laughs> what if she was a serious singer and then nobody cared and they only care about her down syndrome? A hundred percent. That's it. Yeah. She has to be way better. She had to have been able to sing that better. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, yeah, I'm really proud of my sister. Uh, she was a little flat on the bridge, but it's all right. She's getting better. Imagine the fucking resentment. Yeah. If you're the like loser of the family and your brother has down syndrome. <laughs> because <laughs> everyone roots for the down syndrome guy and then if you suck eggs like, yeah yeah i wonder if she ever thinks like th you know the the one who sang was like man if i was you and I i'd be fucking a famous singer <laughs> like if i could sing and hat and like w you know was born healthy or whatever yeah but in reality you would have never had four million views. Or John yeah. Legend literally would have been like... Girl without Down Syndrome sings a song poorly. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find out. No, I'm not even going to say it. Fucking Yeah, chill. <laughs> We're just having fun here. It has nothing to do with this lady. Who drinks alcohol and fuck, so we're allowed to make fun of her now. Yeah, remember... Yeah, don't, re yeah, don't assume that she doesn't... Want to get shit on by two losers on a couch. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, come on. If we're going to bust everyone else's balls and you're going to fucking put that out there, you're we're getting your nutsack. Yeah, don't Devlin. assume that she can't take the fucking insults. Yeah. All right? Don't assume that. Don't assume... When you get done fucking her, don't assume that she can't handle us insulting her. <laughs> it, dude, if my friend fucked a Down Syndrome girl, I would have to report him. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do that. You just can't do that. 
Dude, she knows Shakespeare, though. Yeah. Fucking Shakespeare. She did talk, like, a lot more eloquently than a lot of them. She might be, like, the... She barely got it. Like, she... if they're, Maybe they're going to find out there's a Down syndrome spectrum. And she's, like, almost not even. Yeah. She just got the eyes. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I mean, seems like... It's, like, especially in that video, they made her seem pretty... Like, it was almost just a cosmetic issue. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Uh, imagine if you like couldn't convince people that you you just looked so much like you had down syndrome that people thought you had down syndrome and you're like guys i don't fucking have it i (laughs) i can do ask me what six times 12 is i got you (laughs) you can't prove it and they're like okay buddy you're doing great don't worry about it pal and they just treat you like that forever and you can't break the cycle that's like a horror movie that's a good horror movie idea it'll be called downs and it'll be about a guy who is thinks he has full mental capacity and is getting treated like a down syndrome guy for his whole life and just getting patronized and shit not downs but like in that sense i'm sure a lot of guys like i bet guys like that i forget his name mario uh from that italian growing up italian but uh mario B- boss yeah mario <laughs> mario <laughs> mario i rolled my fucking <laughs> Uh, he, uh, and then, you know, Andrew Milanakis. Andrew Milanakis. <laughs> Andy Milanakis? Yes. And who's the other one? I guess that's him. Oh, you're talking about people with growth hormone deficiencies? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, there are guys, yeah, those are rough because you, uh, you know, it's like. As you get older, you look like a grandma hardcore. And I bet there's things with, like, women you have to, like, learn to live with. Like, imagine you're, like, 40 and people like you said with the dad like people they don't take them seriously or whatever Yeah, for sure um there yeah, is well, like, i don't think get on fucking test so that they can like go through puberty like they can't do that <laughs> i did i show you that was it brian who's the stand-up guy brian regan no the midget <laughs> 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 don't whisper it. It makes it so much worse. <laughs> no, the little uh, comedian, the little person. Brian Williamson? Brian Williams. Williams? Uh, Brian, the big man Williams. He makes me laugh with his, like... Uh, He's funny. With, with one of his, where he goes, like... I forget what... The, there's, like, a whole joke to it, but he just goes, uh, yeah, I walked into a bathroom once, and the dude is taking a piss, and he looks at him and goes, holy shit. <laughs> That's so good. It is crazy, like to see when you see that out, and it's always a double take, <laughs> dude. The craziest thing, uh, people have been talking about. You remember those two girls that had a TLC show? They were like Siamese twins, and they like they yes. had one body but two heads. Yep. Um, I was talking about that with somebody, and they're like, "Yeah," and how they drive is like one person. I'm like, drive. I was like, if I was in traffic. And I look to the right, and the person next to me has two fucking heads. I'm crashing my car. Yeah. That's the craziest thing ever. That's scary. She. It's demonic. That girl or those girls are. They don't lay down, bro. They, they just li- got married. Yeah. And they get fucked. And one of them. One of them got married, I guess. And then the other one's just kind of like a. But they share a vagine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I looked into it, and apparently her move is she puts in a podcast. In in an earbud in an earbuds while her sister's getting while their shared vagina is getting railed out. That's not true. Yeah. That's ki- that's. R- but we could use another subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> um, they are almost like a landmark case in terms of like somebody like a Siamese, uh, human, uh, like tr- really fighting for their rights. Like we gotta fight. Yeah, like we're all r- right <laughs> <laughs> to fucking. <laughs> To drive and get... It's like, okay, like, driving is like someone had to really, like... If you're going to make us prove you can't drive, I guess, fuck it. Like, you could drive. But I think most people in their situation would just, like, not even... You know, there's been people in history or are like that, and they get treated like, you know, non-humans, essentially. I mean, if 400 years ago that girl was born in my village, I would have been like, definitely throw her in the river. What are you even talking about? This no, is a demon from hell. She'd be used as like a medical test to be like, we try to cut her in half. We try to like how they would. Uh, it's easier to like uh, 
take the seeds out of a pomegranate in a bowl of water or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> They'd like do that to her head and like kill her and be like, well, it didn't work. I mean, yeah. It, maybe modern medicine is even keeping her alive. Maybe like a person like that would already be dead without shit. Like, because I bet she's on like, she doesn't take no medicine. <laughs> you're not a t- double person and you're not on some pills or something. Yeah. I mean, what happens if like, you know, one of them wants to get vaxxed and the other doesn't. <laughs> There's so many. The person shooting it in the other arms, like grabbing for the needle. Yeah. <laughs> them fighting is awesome. It's just straight rock'em sock'em robots. Or if they're in the hospital and one of them is saying like, uh, it, like they're in the hospital. They have two mouths, right? Two heads. Yeah. So do they need two dental plans? <laughs> Yeah, I, 100%. Yeah. They were they were mad at the work. They're trying to like sue the workforce or something because they were getting paid as one employee. <sighs> but how do you then nobody would hire you? Yeah, for real. Like you're not even worth <laughs> like no, I'm just saying it's like can you work harder than a, a regular person as a security guard cuz you have like a greater field of view cuz one can look behind you <laughs> and just be on constant patrol. Yeah, you only have jobs. You She's could, a school teacher. You could be a real life whack a mole, <laughs> <laughs> and then you could get paid for two rates. <laughs> and you could get p- paid for two. Ra- if you're on like bicycle helmet testing, yeah, then yeah. then then you could get paid twice. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they're a school teacher. So that imagine like. If it's little kids, that has to be the scariest. I bet kids, like, the first day of meeting their teacher are screaming and crying. No, I've seen that, dude, in kids. And it shows why, like, you know, people are like, how did Nazi Germany happen or whatever? <laughs> what? And it's, it's like, it's like. What? <laughs> how did we get here? To you, it looks crazy. But if you're raised in that shit, if you're a kid, it's like, you would think they run away. But no, dude, a kid will literally be like. Wow, you have two heads. And the, and, and <laughs> I only have one. And yeah, and they'll just like it's normal, and they'll be like, "Mrs. Whatever has two heads," and like That's they're fucked. not freaked That's out fucked. by it. It's just like how when you're a kid, it's like a lot of shit. Like fishing is really gross. Like, but a lot of kids like you'd go fishing and you don't think twice about like touching the water. Oh, kids don't know to be scared. It's yeah, like a lot of people are were braver when they were kids in terms of like grabbing a lizard or something. Or like yeah, or like playing with bugs. Yeah, like yeah. I would never touch a bug. Yeah, but when I was a kid, I'd like touch a ladybug or something. For sure. Yeah, and like, but um, what was I saying? A fucking kids oh they're being freaked out I, about I saw ladies like a video of a dude and it was uh like this lop he was fishing and he's like showing off that this lobster is some dudes will like they'll show off that they're like a great lobster fisherman morally because uh they'll show him catching a lobster and be like see this one's weak it's dying so we're gonna send her back and which is like, like shouldn't isn't that the one you should kill and eat the one that's gonna die anyway yeah it was like i don't know what the terms are but he leaves, and I get it, the lobster's fine, I'm sure. But, like, he really freaks them out and roughs them up a lot. Yeah. He's like, see her right here, we're going to... And then, it'll, like, they got, like, a hole punch where it's like, who gives a fuck? They 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 cut a triangle out of the tail. Oh. To like mark it. Yeah. To be like, fucking Ricky was here. <laughs> get the scissors. We're going to fucking tag this lobster. Yeah. Fucking, uh, yeah, but... That, oh, and the lobster, his good guy act was that it had, was covered in barnacles, this this uh, lobster. And he scrubbed them off? And he scrubbed them off. But, bro, the lo- he had a fucking macro shot of the lobster. Ew. And the barnacles were alive. It was, uh, I'm only used to seeing, like, a, like a, I thought a barnacle is just when a rock grows on the side. Of no, they're, al- they're living. It's alive. Things, like, poking out and, like, oh. <laughs> Half-Life shit. I don't like that at all. Yeah, that stuff freaks me out. I don't like urchins or any of that kind of shit. I'm not a big fan. Also, those things th- that I've only ever seen in the Jackass movie that are like a sea cucumber that ejaculate. I don't like that. Oh, yeah. Dude, there's some disgusting. The goo duck. <laughs> Can we watch that on the podcast? The geo oh, duck yeah. or whatever. Well, I don't think we ever had, but it's, uh, it's Can we fucking pull it disgusting. Up? I don't know how to look it up. I don't know. Geo duck? Like a Pokemon? Like, uh, like geo. Yeah, like uh, geo tag. I just can't reach. 
Okay, take two. <laughs> Very similar, but this is just a lot more. It oh looks like a horse head. <laughs> she is honestly such a whore. <laughs> <laughs> what are they putting on it? It looks like <laughs> fucking know. pesticide. So first you put chili flakes all over your water-filled dick. That's wasabi. Toothpaste. And then a cup of fucking, like, it looks like that would give me heartburn. But a cup of heartburn? Oh! <laughs> her, dude, that shit got all over her. Your day is over if you <laughs> eat yeah. duck. That was really the main highlight that we needed to see. And we could continue to watch this all day. But, yeah, if you're into, like, any sort of penile humiliation, I definitely recommend you check out Good Duck. They got to put the hot water on it to soften it. Paralyze it. Uh, It's like, ah! Mm -hmm. (laughs) And then you fucking bite into it. So what is in there? Like, seawater? Fucking, like, squid juice? That shit is so nasty. Yeah, I'm guessing it's it's seawater, right? I mean... But a seawater that's been inside of a creature for, like, hours... But you know what these people eat, bro. It's fucking, <laughs> it's fucking wild. Century old egg. Yeah, the boy piss egg was a favorite of mine that we went into. I don't want to double cover that one, but uh, yeah, uh, guys, that is not some joke. That is real. Boy piss egg, and like Chinese people will be like, "Yeah, I don't like it, but yeah, my uncle eats them." Like yeah. they're common. Like they're not like fucking. I know they're not like sold at McDonald's, but. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a production issue. They couldn't make s- as many because they have to boil the piss and then it evaporates. But uh, <laughs> imagine being a ch- pretending to be a Chinese guy here and uh, trying to get a boy piss egg in America. <laughs> <laughs> like where you can't find a good boy piss egg anymore. Yeah, yeah. I bet it's fucking illegal here because it's like a violation of health, safety, and shit. Because you can't boil pee pee and like serve food. I saw it like an Indi- it was on Reddit. So it was like, look what I found at my Indian grocery store. And it was uh, water from like the Dali River. I don't know. Ew. Like, the yeah, worst like, water yeah, ever. The water where people like die and shit all day. <laughs> and just wash up dead bodies and shit all day. And it's like, and it says ex- for external use only, for religious purposes only. Oh, yeah, because you'll definitely die if you get Indian fucking river water. Why would someone want that? Like, Maybe it's like magical. It has good properties in it. And you know what someone said? They're like, yeah, it's a scam. It's just regular water. They put mud in it. <laughs> like, un- like they weren't <laughs> Fake, <even> dirty. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they couldn't get the real dirty water. I mean, that's a logistics nightmare to have to ship fucking water across the world. Like, what's holy water? Is it? I used to I think it's know. like a scam, but I think I think they have to bless it. Like it's they have yeah. the water, then like they do a little ceremony. I think it's like Zephyr Hills water. Like it has to be from like the fucking Jerusalem or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I never looked into that. I have been curious about that in the past. Um, it's like they definitely put salt in it. <laughs> 100%. It's gotta be salted for sure. Maybe it is like a sea water. I, I mean, it's gotta, creatine. It's gotta be. Yeah, holy. Imagine holy water is like. You get buff as fuck if you drink nothing but holy water. You put holy water as like a recipe ingredient. <laughs> like That'd be pretty sick. Yeah. A teaspoon of holy water in your creme brulee. <laughs> That'd be awesome. That's like kingly <laughs> shit. You just want like, I want this sourced from the forest land. And there's some fucking dumb guy and a squire have to go across to go travel on a fucking horse for 17 days <laughs> to bring you back like a red flower that they're going to chop up as like just a decoration on top of your birthday dinner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the fancy ass foods people will be like, I've lost my appetite. <laughs> <laughs> you traveled to get saffron for yeah. four months. Yeah. Shit sucks. Um, I was thinking of a good move when I die to have a body double at the funeral so I can do the getting out of the coffin prank and then the guy is holding the ashes so that I'm actually in a fucking thing. So there's a guy who kind of looks like me and he's in the casket <laughs> that's open, but they don't let anybody get close to it. It's roped off and say, they'll say like, you'll have your time to, to talk to him close afterwards. And then they're doing the speech and shit. And then I get up out of the casket, but psych 
holding the ashes that is the real me. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah, it'd be like when Stone Cold came back, people would be so fucking fired up if I came back from the dead. <laughs> or it'd be like, have like so your loved ones be like, uh, there's two caskets there, guys. Pick a casket, and then they pick one. There's like a hundred dollars in it, and they're like, yeah. And then like, let's see what you missed out on, <laughs> and it's you alive. <laughs> and I just wave goodbye and get buried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing yeah funeral pranks <laughs> set up your that's a tough job that gives it because you know everyone's gonna be upset with that guy i don't know if you're like a renowned funny man they expect a funny man shit like i think gilbert godfrey had like a funny thing <laughs> like a video after he died what if like, your lookalike just comes out and then just like says the n-word and ruins <laughs> your <laughs> <laughs> ruins your whole <laughs> reputation <laughs> <laughs> and you don't get a chance to correct it. You're fucking dead already. <laughs> you just get buried, or you, like you get you're already cremated. You fucking spread you out, and it's just like this racist bastard. They don't even spread your ashes in a cool way. They fucking put it in the dumpster. It's the one case of like a biological history. Your body's just like no. <laughs> it's like back to death. <laughs> and then your Wikipedia gets updated that day, and it's like, uh, a, uh, sports player, actor, comedian, and known racist. <laughs> like it could be the most amazing guy in the world, and you it ruins your Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah. Like when you go on Harvey Weinstein's thing, it's like movie man and sexual offender. Yeah, like yeah, it's a p- fucking front and center. Like I was type like because I saw a few movies where you know like the quentin tarantino pulp fiction and uh i don't know the story with that i wouldn't be surprised if like quentin tarantino said the n-word in that scene and had he it. loved it but maybe someone else wasn't willing to do it and quentin was like i'll fucking do it or whatever i could see maybe that <laughs> happening but i would say like, i was the one who stepped up yeah you're giving me shit how many how many movies do you have to make before you can get away with that before you can have be, be yourself <sighs> So, like it's like such a yeah. f- definitely not the first movie <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so here's my idea for the movie i'm gonna be the guy who says the end <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. L- like art loves the n-word like every old book has the n-word in it for some reason like yeah that's so hit or miss like every every movie that's like dude have you seen the top 50 movies in the of all yeah. time 37 of them have the n-word in it yeah in like a shock way too like but fucking yeah it's like it's almost like a uh i don't know the word for it but it's like a requirement to <laughs> being a great director yeah yeah it's like uh on one of those cooking shows like this is this is in every restaurant you have to this is a chef standard you have to be able to prepare the onions the correct way yeah it's like if if you don't have good end game and you're a producer, a movie producer, it's not going to work out for you. Yeah. You, you'll never win a big award. It's like, you know, you have to know how to not break an emulsion. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's the same thing. You have to eventually. Yeah. It has to be a part of your repertoire. You have to know how to how to star cut a fucking carrot for garnish. <laughs> That's what all Asian chefs spend six months of their culinary school just making cool shapes. Yeah. yeah. How to turn a cucumber into like a fucking pillowcase for your Brussels sprout. (laughs) (laughs) I fought for that one. That's really good. (laughs) (laughs) A pillowcase for your Brussels sprout is really funny. I was mid sip. I'm sorry. Uh, I hate the like overly decorative cooking shit. And when people do it in real life, it does look good. It does make it slightly more appealing. But do it in, like, a not ridiculous way. Like, make it look like food still. I hate when they get too overly decorative with it. And it's like, okay, what are we even doing? Yeah. Like, I watched a little bit of that, like, Guy's Groceries Games. I might have talked about it last week. But um, one thing they always do, and they always do this in cooking competitions, where they'll make, like, a good dish or whatever. And then they'll be like, oh, it needs some garnish. And then they'll, like... So it'll be like they make some fucking... Uh, a, a Thai um, stir fry with peanuts or something. Disgusting. And then they're like, it's done. It looks good. It probably tastes good. And then like, I need something. And they're like, some more peanuts. And they throw a big handful of peanuts on top. Oh, yeah, some, yeah, yeah. Or I hate that with like coconut too. 
they, it's like i don't like the whole how coconut's this tough fibrous texture um but I, I don't mind it if you make like a coconut something dessert but whenever they just throw shaved coconut on top it's like well now i got like fucking plastic shards in my fucking you know how hard <laughs> those are to chew it sounds like you had an incident did you chip a molar on a coconut once I, my taste buds have changed. Maybe now I'd like coconut, but you know what I what changed was um like the incident. I like Cheez Its, and this goes for Goldfish too. But I don't, and I obviously would prefer those as a kid. But now the flavor blasted shit, the flavor blasted Goldfish, and the fucking they don't call them flavor blasted, but they used to. Yeah. Che- well, Cheez Its oh. don't because it's Goldfish yeah. thing. But uh, what they, do they call it? They just call it Cheddar Jack like jacked up cheddar bullshit <laughs> but it's fucking gross i don't like the fucking cheesy powder on the cracker it's like that is one thing that's kind of new to me it was like i used to like those and and then i stopped buying them and then going back to them because they were in the house i was like shit so that's me on cheese it's guys <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i want to talk about that there's a couple of things that uh I had seen over the week that I wanted to bring up on here or just thought about. Um, I was talking to a friend and we were talking about Tomb Raider 2. And there's a scene in Tomb Raider 2. It's like a, or a level mission or whatever. In the beginning of the game, you're just in this mansion. And it was so ominous. I don't know if I could pull it up. Tomb Raider 2 mansion. I just want to talk about like... As a kid, certain things would be like terrifying to you and you don't really understand why. Like, it's not immediately obvious. There's nothing, like, inherently scary about this. But there was this old butler who follows you around the house. And I was terribly afraid of this guy. He's so creepy. Oh, I see him. And I would, like, there's an obstacle course and there's all this stuff you can do. But what I would do is just run through the house and try to find a spot where I could hide from this guy. Like, it, it would just, like, haunt my dreams was this old man slowly following me around. And still to this day, like, in scary stuff. A slow guy is way scarier than a fast guy. Because the fast guy is just going to get you and it's over. Like, a, getting chased for a long time is very scary. Like, that, uh, have you ever heard that thing, like, would you accept $20 million, but there's a snail that is all the way across the world from you and it's coming to kill you, and if it touches you, it kills you? Have you ever heard of that? Never. <laughs> yeah. I've never heard that, but that's good. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, Slow and steady wins the race is very true. I mean, that's why humans are the shit. Like, uh, you know, the other, a few months ago, uh, when my dogs, like, got out of the house when we were getting a new refrigerator. This is remastered, too. This shit looks way too good. And um, they ran, like, tw- they had a 20-house head start. And when a dog is running, they are way faster than you. But then we get, like, about a quarter mile in, and I'm faster than them <laughs> by a lot. And, and quickly, too. Within, like, three, four minutes, they are, like, they use up all their energy. Like, a lot of animals, they're fast, but they're stupidly gassing themselves. Yeah, yeah. Like, to the point where they just can't even lift a finger after they're done running. Yeah, for sure. And they seem like they're going to die. You're literally worried your dog's going to have a heart attack. Yeah. They overwork themselves that bad. My dog will fucking, the sprinkler system went off the other day and he literally almost had a heart attack. <laughs> An actual like medical event. But uh, yeah, oh, this reminded me that like when I played Tony Hawk, maybe it was Underground 2, you can make your own maps and skate parks. And I would just sit and I would make like, I would take out, like the there's like a basement area in one of these like maps and i just built it to be like a fucking man cave in tony hawk too and like with all <laughs> that's the, awesome and i would just stand around in there like with no board and just like play pretend with myself that's pretty cool and then i'd walk out and skate in the skate park and shit and i always like wish i could you know a game kind of captured that same energy for me but like it, the difference between and minecraft kind of did but being uh, able to create a base yeah but minecraft um doesn't have enough i almost hate to say it but i wish they had more uh fucking like little useless items and decorations like it's kind of limiting like it, let's say you wanted to make like a fucking like a movie theater in minecraft 
it's really not going to look like a movie theater. I don't know. You might be surprised, dude. People get very creative. You're just not using the full potential of your mind. No, you're right. Yeah, people do get insanely talented with that. But yeah, yeah, something about it's like um, what's that other thing called? Uh, like that isolationist art. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what, like, what was that like that game that we were looking at? The my house dot yeah. wad. Um. <laughs> My dad's tapes. <laughs> no, shout out to that. But uh, yeah, see the, the old guy yeah. follows you around. That shit was scary as hell. Does he kill you if you? No, or he's just he's there. literally your butler. But he's, he's supposed scary. to be like cute. Yeah, that was terrifying to me as a child. Anybody like the creepiest things in any type of horror is a really old person or like a baby, like a really young person. Like in between is less scary. Yeah, old people scary. are scary. Yeah. yeah, even this guy's getting scared. You can see he's, like, <laughs> he's trying to run away. Look at that waist. Yeah, Laura Croft. I would definitely fucking would, would. No, I could see getting horny to that. Yeah, no doubt about Look that. Look at that fucking kitchen. Yeah, I really like this. There's also an indoor pool. It's like marble and shit. I remember this from a kid. I literally haven't seen this in twenty years. Maybe he just clips right through. Uh, yeah, see, that's why you got to be afraid of him. They made it. Oh. She's cornered in the meat locker. You know you were the shit back in the day if you had a meat locker in your house. I never played this. You were just talking about how you actually your discography of games you've played is actually pretty wide and and mine's not and then like I've only played like one single player game like f- to completion like, yeah. in my entire yeah. life. You've always you played a lot of games, but it was like the same games. Yeah. Like yeah, you just got into your shit. But as a kid like PS2 era it was hard to only play one game because, like, there was not that many modes and different things to do. And multiplayer. Like, multiplayer really keeps things fresh. So yeah. You were, like, always looking for the next game. But, yeah, this is, like, my ideal living situation is to live here now. I want to get a one eighteenth scale model house of this. Yeah, I'd love to have a fucking... A like disproportionate we're... scale bed that's, like, 50 feet wide compared to the <laughs> player character. We were looking at houses up north, and uh, just having a basement would be so nice. Yeah. If you're, like, a person that has a basement, you might have a story about it flooding and it costs you money or whatever. But think about the alternative. If you're a Florida man, you just have one less spot in your house. Like, your house is that much smaller forever, and there's nothing you can do about it. Like, it's just, it is a superior system. Yeah, and a two-story house is really... So that means you have a three-story house. Effectively, yes. If you have a two-story house. Finish that basement up. Could totally be a nice little living quarters. Yeah. You could go hang out down there, jack off. Dude, you could literally, like... And then in my old house in Ohio, we had a crawl space, which honestly, we just was like a joke, like the crawl space if the fucking Russians bomb us or something. But it was a massive space... Because when you're underground, you can just, like, Minecraft, mine out another block, <laughs> and it's yours. It's your fucking property, and you already did the work to, like, you could probably, like... Is ex- there a police or something that would come to you if you were like, this is my property, I'm going to dig all the way through to China? <laughs> like, in an old cartoon, like, can you just dig to the center of the earth if you had the tech, if you, like, figured it out? Like, would somebody, is it, are you not allowed to just dig straight down on your own land? I'm pretty sure knock yourself out is the answer. (laughs) And because people do like dig for oil and shit and like, but yeah, I think nobody's ever dug to China from this (laughs) side of like, I think it's literally, uh, I think it happened in Ed and Nettie before. Isn't bedrock like in Minecraft, like it's real where they can't cut through it after a certain It's like a harder material and you need a diamond pickaxe or something. They press (laughs) F13 and they see where the diamonds are. Dude, yeah, that was a big scandal in, like, high school. Just <laughs> playing a Minecraft server, and then somebody w- was cheating using that shit to just go straight for the good stuff. Actually, it was Terraria. Terraria. Oh, game. yeah. Terraria was fun. I wish that was more of, um, like, a, a like, and it's still, I think, not capable on the current handheld. Like, it's more of a handheld game was my point, I yeah, felt like. Yeah, yeah, it's a little under... Like it's a, it's immersive, a, under immersive. Yeah, it's kind of a one note game. It yeah. is in the combat is literally just like you hold attack and then just watch your guy. You have to jump around in circles too to dodge the guy. Oh yeah, 
and the music and shit. That it was a definitely a time and a place for that game. It was fun when we played it. Yeah, there's a great video on the internet called uh, "There's No Tanks in Terraria." I don't know if you can find that. It's this. Um, oh, I remember that. Yeah. There's like this autistic guy on a Discord server, and he was like super serious about uh, just everything. You know, like one of those autistic people that's like loves facts, like a Ben Shapiro type autistic guy. And this guy was trolling him by saying like, "Oh yeah, I'm playing Terraria. I totally spelled it wrong. So there's no tanks in Terraria. <laughs> it's not that big of a video, so we might be kind of putting this on." Six this out, fellas. There's no tanks in Terraria, man. So I already kn- see you're you're just failing yourself, man. I know you're not playing Terraria. Actually, I am. If you knew me on Steam, I'd actually say I'm in Terraria. Yeah, he's yeah. playing Terraria. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. you yeah. could have changed the EXE. Just just admit it, you're not playing Terraria. <laughs> yeah, he's oh. playing the Newell's tar- Terraria right now. The Terraria okay, okay. with the tanks and the laser well, pointers. Well, well, give me a screenshot of a tank in uh, Terraria. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, she's lying. <laughs> I was just saying. <laughs> no, it's just, just called laser corner. Yeah. He puts the shittiest MS Paint image of a fucking in, Abrams um, tank in Terraria. It's a picture of a tank in Terraria. Yeah, I know. Oh, no. So, Isn't that so, what you wanted? You wanted no, a picture? I, no, I, no I, wanted a re- I wanted a tank that's in that actually, actually working in the game. Well, well actually, it because the, this dude would be a great I manager I have one day. I entirely rasterized. Alright, it's just a placeholder image. No, yeah, it's no, called no, programmer it's not. No, art. no, it's, it's 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 your it's your trolling, your trolling, and and you don't. You don't I love that wrong, he recognizes so, that it's a so troll, but can't stop. Mav going into from your getting um, upset. Uh, castle. We gotta shut that down, otherwise they're gonna mortar you. <laughs> yeah, this. See, see, should... you, see, just shut the fuck up, and if you're not playing Terraria, get the fuck out of this channel. <laughs> sounds like the Mel Gibson no, This might have been TeamSpeak, actually. Yeah. If you're not playing Terraria, get the fuck out of this channel. I'm not taking it anymore. You fucking guys are not playing Terraria, so shut the fuck up and get the fuck out. Go to your fucking channel of your fucking game. Stop fucking bullshitting around. I'm not playing anymore. So shut the fuck up by your fucking, fucking lame-ass fake game that you're not playing, this is... so get the fuck out. <laughs> this is like that guy... Who there was on a ring doorbell. Somebody got like thirty pizzas for a Super Bowl party, and this dude who guesses like the HOA guy, he comes and looks at the fucking pizzas, and then g- goes to the doorbell and goes, "Hey, uh, nice pizzas. <laughs> looks like about thirty boxes. I better not see one of those in the recycling. Any of those in the recycling, that's a dollar <laughs> charge. You can't recycle pizza, but like obviously yeah. he's had the issue in the past or whatever. HOA guys all seem like assholes." This guy's got that You're energy. Beauty. You're gonna talk about snipers, you go fuck off! Look, look it. Engineer <laughs> walking through the lava. There's, no, you're playing Pac-22! Just admit it, man! Just admit it. No, we're playing... It. Playing Terraria. The, 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 the nine classes. Hey, Jesus! You have to think about this! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> so now I know you're not playing Dude, he's like fucking... Just admit it! Sherlock Holmes. No, look, Holmes. we're playing Terraria. I'm playing as the heavy class. There's no heavy class. Fluffy is the medic. There's no classes, man. TF2? He was just talking about a snipe courses classes. Not in Korea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah, end with that. But uh, just the one of the best ways to troll in childhood that is now maybe considered bullying was just doing that. Like yeah. a guy who's like hyper obsessed with a topic and you're wrong about it and, and you know you're wrong and you just fuck with him on that level. Yeah. And that's a beautiful thing. You know, Get somebody fired up off that. That always, those situations always start off with like, Ye- like months or years of them holding their tongues and just like dealing with it and then at a certain point it'll be like okay like you try to suggest to the guy be like you know because you know what wouldn't have worked it'll be like all right you know i'm not gonna move channels like because we were playing terraria or whatever the fucking uh you know uh fucking what's the word uh whatever the game right thing to do yeah. in that situation is uh to move channels or whatever i was never really into the, in that uh fucking much pressure in a team speak server yeah it gets serious out there team speak was like the real deal because you didn't you have to have like a subscription to get on there or no you had to join a server that was paid for yeah someone had to have been an adult <laughs> in, a, in the friend group like basically someone had to have been paying and i think it was probably like a dollar a month for the fucking server because you could find like a third party service and um 
yeah i know some people are like cheap they'll be like literally it's a pay as you use so they'll be like dude i'm trying to use the server okay let me call my cousin he's gonna turn it on oh my god it's like if fucking one guy doesn't want to waste the fucking five dollars a week yeah i hate people that are like under like a ten dollar under charge or is like well they'll not have fun over yeah that. Like yeah they wouldn't participate in something over a small fee like that no yeah like even i bought hell divers but that was that uh, was a lot more money than that 40 whole buckarinas it's not my type of game yeah unfortunately that's but why it's like i it, i feel like it's a joke when i see you guys like say like let's play it <laughs> and like I f- i'm like r- like and you guys are like yeah let's play it and i'm like really like it gets intense the yeah. game is like mind-numbing like it's awesome you go in there, you fuck shit up, you get out, you do the mission and get out. I probably get carried hard. That's true. And I probably just feel like I'm really not making much of an impact. You're also a low level. You got to level up to get the good shit. Um, just to have one more topic before we get out of here. Um, I've been st- watching, uh, not intentionally, I have watched that show Kill Tony where they do stand up for a minute and they have comedians on to like make fun of them or whatever. And uh, they do Tony Hinchcliffe. I've noticed in clips and stuff, he gets very weird when a person, any guest is like, and by the way, Tony, we met the other night at this restaurant or something. He really? like, tur- he has this weird demeanor shift. Like, what is this guy doing in public that's so, he's like, doesn't want to get, he's like, just wants to rush the person off the stage and hates them. Like all of a sudden, just because they met him in public. Like, what are you afraid of them revealing? That's so like he, immediate. Like it's like night and day. Like the meme of the fucking Mister Incredible guy, and then it like turns to a, a black silhouette of him. Yeah, I don't know. I've never picked up on that. I'm not a big t- Kill Tony follower, but but what could be the scenario? Is he a dickhead to the people? It's got to be. And and like from what we've seen in the past with our content, just wait a year, and I'm sure whatever you're saying will come to light. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He might just be like on coke or something. He doesn't want people to know. Might be something simple like that. He's an FBI informant. <laughs> <laughs> Is Tony Hinchcliffe working for Mossad agents? That Tony Hinchcliffe. That's a fake fucking uh, witness protection <laughs> name. Yeah, his real name is uh, Bartholomew. What's a good Israeli? Good Israeli style name. You gotta have like some. It's always like some old biblical type name. Followed by like, I like uh, to me Joshua is a great Brit. Uh, if you're if you're from Israel, like maybe throw some Joshua in there. <laughs> name your name your Jews, guys. And last time we got the uh, the question of the week: Does a smoothie cause more pee pee or more poo poo? Got no answers. So <laughs> please try uh, this week. We're gonna run it again. So please, we want to yeah, know. We're definitely gonna have to trim the shit out of this one. <laughs> but uh, overall, I think it was a good time. And remember, guys, dude, we'd Lamau.